All right, uh, Friday, Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th, it was a good day today, best day of the week for me, uh, had an overnight position with BioC, as you can see, uh, there was a lot of resistance in the 220s right here, morning panic, bounce, couldn't get through it, again, another top here, so you got a double top right there. Uh, and you see pulls back makes a lower high I short here at 221 so I'm in at 221 has a nice fade off into the close I hold overnight wake up early and I notice this is at um, I think it was I ended up getting out at 198 as soon as I saw it I got out at 198 um, yeah I could have held a little bit longer but you don't ever know that and then uh, it had a nice uh, had a nice bounce afterwards. Actually, I didn't even see this yet. Nice bounce afterwards, and then a sell off. So you could have shorted here again. Wow, didn't even see that. So that was another good potential short opportunity right there. So missed that one, which is okay. Uh, next one, uh, and I, you know, I. This one uh, was, I got to thank Tim Sykes for this play right here. He alerted this in the chat room that it was a chat room pump and that it was a potential short. Now, typically, uh, I wouldn't short a stock that is running like this on the first green day, but the fact that he said it was a chat room pump, what I did, uh, I got actually... I actually almost nailed the top at 367 with my short. And how I did that was I went to a, um, I think I went to like a two year chart. I guess we'll go to a three year chart. Okay, so yeah. So this is the three year chart. These are weekly charts. So if you notice right here, tons of resistance at four from the 350s to the four. So I basically just kind of picked a number, got lucky. I put it in 367. I didn't think it was going to get all the way to four, and I didn't want to get squeezed too much if it did because it was moving so fast. So I just kind of got lucky and picked a number and got my short in early. I actually put it in before I even hit there. Um, so go back to... So it has its initial spike, kind of consolidates here, from, takes one more leg up. Boom, I got a fill. And almost immediately after I get a fill, you'll notice that it starts pulling starts pulling back. And literally two minutes later, now this is where I screwed up. Since this stock was moving so fast, and I was scared, um, when it started coming down, because sometimes these things will come down and then they'll just come right back up and break out again. But what I should have been doing, if I would have been paying attention to my RSI down here, you'll see that... Because I actually covered, I was in at 367, I covered at 314 on this candle right here. So you can see I missed out on a ton of money. But if you look at the RSI, the RSI says it's still overextended. So at least wait for it to come down here. Now you can see that it ended up just falling off a cliff at the end of the afternoon. But I mean, you don't know that's going to happen. But at minimum, at minimum... This is a good learning tool for me because next time I'm in a fast moving stock and I get like, you know, this is a pretty hard pullback. It pulls back from the 60s all the way down to, to the low threes. You know, you just need to, even though the stock's moving fast, you need to just be calm, be patient, and, uh, you know, look at your indicator and and just watch it. So, I mean, ideally, if if I would have held on for two more minutes, you know, I should have covered down here in the, at 276. So, you see, it, 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 comes under, it comes under this top line in the RSI. So, really, in essence, I should have covered right there. So, um, let's pull up the edit studies. Um, P... 
pull up another indicator. Parabolic SAR, that's what we want. There we go. Yeah, so that was fun. Regardless, I still made, I made good money, you know, in at 368, out at 314. I had 700 shares, I think, made over $300, so I'm happy with that. Uh, but it was also a good learning tool for me, so I actually made money and I learned from it, so that's I definitely, I'm happy with that trade. Uh, what was the next one? So I ran out of day trades, uh, but I got two overnight positions. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, I went long, too. RXII. RXII, gosh. Edit studies. Uh, all right. So, RXII, uh, this had, was a huge pre-market winner. And I thought being that it's Friday, first green day, I thought it would... And I'm trying to learn how to go long... So what I did is once again I wasn't patient enough and I really didn't look at the uh, look at key levels like here, here. Uh, I was more or less looking at right here, <laughs> which was a mistake, huge mistake. So this thing it has a panic. and I buy I chase into strength, which you don't want to buy into strength. I get it at 92 cents. Because I think it's going to take back off. No. You wait for it to come down. Put in a double bottom. So if I would have waited. It would have put in a double bottom. You wait for this point right here. Or you could actually buy this bottom. But you don't know if that's going to be it right there. Uh, yeah. You don't know if that's going to be the bottom right there or not. But when it puts in a double bottom. This is a great time to buy. And you can also see. On the. So you got. Here, one on the RSI, that's one, two, so you could have bought right there and then taken this move. I mean, you're looking at, well, it's not quite 10%, but three right here, boom. You can take, you can buy here, take this move and make a quick, make a 10% in 15, 20 minutes or so. So this RSI is useful for when you're going to, when you're going to get in and when you're going to get out. So that was RX, but I only had a four hundred dollar position on it because I'm just experimenting. I lost four bucks, forty bucks on it, but that's ten percent. That's a huge. <laughs> thank God I didn't have a big position. My gosh, that would have sucked. Um, overnight positions, uh, ZFGN, kind of a slow mover, but I think it's but it's it's low risk. Uh, let's go to a daily chart. So, you got your big move, your pullback, and then it bounces. So, I'm shorting the bounce. It doesn't didn't seem like it could break out, so I shorted it. Um, so, here we go. You got the bounce. Uh, let's go to five day, five minute. There we go. Big move. Top here, top here. Can't get there. Stops in the 230s, pulls back, and you got a bounce right there. So, I mean, this could end up possibly being a cup and handle, but we'll find out. It couldn't get through it. Um, I'm in at 427, and so we'll see. If we don't get a morning panic, we'll just sell. It's not gonna. I'm not gonna lose anything on it. Uh, last one, overnight position U R R E. So. Apparently they had an offering, thanks to Mark Crook. I saw his video lesson, he pointed that out. U R R E, big run up, double top here. Yesterday, huge after hours sell off from the 330s all the way down to two. So usually Michael Good says that when these things bounce, that it's usually about 50% of the drop that it bounces. So if you 330 down to two. You know, it's about a dollar and a quarter, dollar thirty cents. Um, 
So look at that, a 60 cent move from the low twos to the 70s. So that's almost 50%. Also, look at your RSI down here. Relative strength index, you see that right there? It's about a 50% bounce. So it's probably that's probably going to be as high as it go. Now it could have consolidated and squeezed up. Uh, and the fact that I didn't have any day trades is kind of this is a that's risky because I would have got squeezed. But I took a smaller position, so preparing if I did get squeezed, I was going to add up here in the high twos and the low threes. So I was already kind of thinking about that. It'd be nice when I'm at a PDT, so I don't have to do that. So I could just cut losses and then reshort back up here. But it ended up going my way. I shorted at 268, 268 right here on this first red candle, and then it sold off. We'll see if we get a panic on Monday. And that is my Friday. Made about uh, 500 minus 40, so 522. About 522. Uh, overall, is a really great day, great week. Um, uh, 2017, I'm super excited for it. Anyways, hope everybody else had a happy week, and I'm excited for next week.